welcome back to another video, another weekend vlog. Today, Saturday, June 10th, which is crazy. June is flying by, like didn't it just, wasn't it just May? Oh, I just wanna hold on to these days. I love the summer so much. I feel like we've already done a lot though. And since summer started, we've already taken a three day trip to King's Dominion and then we went camping at the beach for five days. So we fit a lot into the first two weeks of summer, but it's been amazing. And I definitely want to savor every, every single day. So today is Saturday and I'm gonna head out to Walmart and grocery shop, big surprise. I'm gonna do a grocery haul when I get home, show you what I got because some of you guys find it interesting. I do um, love watching them too. So I don't, I feel like I didn't have a lot to get today, but when I added up the price, it's a lot. So I don't know. I had my friend, my neighbor went to Sam's yesterday and they had like the meat, the three packs of ground beef that I love and they were $11. So she picked me up a couple of those. Those are in the freezer, so I don't have to get any of that. Um, I think I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby, Sam's, and Walmart, so I'm not going to take my camera. It's just a busy Saturday. There's a lot of people out. It's a lot quicker if I just don't take my camera and hard to like pull it out when there's so many people because, you know, you don't want to record people so much, so um, I'll do a haul when I get home. I also, tonight, we're going to go over to Elena's house, She, Elena and Andrew's house. She wanted us to help her hang some curtains and some like a mirror and wallpaper or something. I'm not really sure, but she needed her dad's help. So we're gonna go over there and we're gonna have dinner with her and visit. I don't get to visit with her as often just cause she's married, you know, and has her own stuff going on, but we'll do that. And then uh, tomorrow should be a pretty relaxing Sunday. We have been so busy and it is like a day where we'll, we'll go to church and probably just relax if we wanna go to a movie or something maybe, but we are planning our next big project so we have one big summer project and we need to sit down and like plan everything so Marion and I talked about that this morning I'm pro probably gonna do that this weekend so that we can get started because it's gonna take weeks and we want to get started so that because everything is so busy you know do it in between trips and we have family coming to visit and camp and just a lot so <laughs> we want to get started on that soon so that will be in multiple videos, but that's a big project. Anyway, I have to get going because it is after 12, it's after lunchtime, 12.39, and I wanna get home so I can get everything done, put away before we have to head over to Elena's house. But welcome back. If you're new, my name is Erica. If you're not new, you already know that. Thank you so much for coming back. And uh, Oliver says, hey, always. I still am wandering from camping. If you saw my camping vlog by now, we went camping at Carolina, Beach State Park and we went to like Curry Beach, Carolina Beach, Southport. We did go up to Wilmington on the way home. It was so fun, so fun. Like so much more fun than I thought it would be because we were camping with no electricity. It was so fun. It was and it was not so hot. So make sure that you check out that vlog if you have it. It was just a great week. And um yeah, just what we needed to kick start the summer. So anyway, I still have lots of laundry. I've no, not lots. I have blankets and sheets in there. I've got towels in the washer and a, the last load of like clothes in the dryer. So I'm going to keep working on those too, but that never ends. Laundry never ends. So, all right. I am home now. I got everything I needed at Walmart. They actually pretty much had everything I needed. I'm going to, I kind of like set everything out in by meals so I could try and remember my grocery or my meal plan. There's a few things that I made that I had my last meal plan i just ran up the stairs i always do this and then i grabbed my camera marion was sanding some stuff and i said can you give me five minutes turn it off um i have a few things that carried over like i'm gonna make um those chicken lime taco bowls i don't remember how you say it but i know that's on my meal plan i know there's grilled cheese grilled ham and cheese is on my meal plan from carried over a couple things carried over we're also going to have things like father's day tonight we're going to go to dinner with elena i think we're going to go to king's dominion maybe one night i don't know there i don't have like a full two weeks worth but this is two weeks worth of groceries and drinks and snacks i always want to buy more drinks in the summer i don't know if you're like that but i always want to buy ice cream and drinks so i have a lot of drinks okay so one night i'm gonna do a chicken croissant casserole so I got two things of chicken. I already, like I told you, I had that ground beef. I have six pounds of ground beef in my freezer. Plus I already had two pounds, so I have a lot of ground beef. But, and then I had, think I have two things of chicken already, but I'm gonna do chicken. You do, you roll up croissant, crescent rolls with chicken and vegetables. 
I think you put vegetables. Yeah, you put chicken and vegetables and you season it really good. And then you pour like, I think it's cream of chicken. Maybe just cream of chicken, but I got cream of celery too, just to be sure. So we'll have that one night. It's delicious. Um, I love these brioche buns with the chicken breast. Put these in the air fryer on this with some Chick-fil-A sauce. It's so good. And so we'll have that one night or two nights or whatever for lunches. And then I'm also going to make cheeseburgers one or two nights. So I have all that ground beef. And they're so good. These brioche buns, they are worth it. They are just so delicious. So good. And then I'm also going to use some of the chicken to make some chalupas. I found these at Walmart. I haven't used them yet, but they look so good. You like fry them a little bit. They only come with four and they're like almost $3, but I already have one pack in the refrigerator. So we'll have these a couple nights. And then I got these little flat iron steaks. These are so good. I like slice them thin and then I fry them up in a pan. They are so delicious. So I just got two of those because we'll probably do some steak and some chicken each night. And I also got some refried beans if I want to put them on them. And I don't, this is not for this. This is for the lime chicken bowls, but also the cheese is for that. And then also if we want to put it on this and I might make some like Mexi ranch to put on top. And then one night we'll have just jumbo shells. I stuff them with ground beef and onion and cheese and then pour the sauce over the top. And then we'll have some garlic bread with it. This is for my grilled ham and cheese. I needed, I have the bread, but I needed the ham and cheese. And then I also just got this turkey breast just for sandwiches. Uh, where is my, oh, my bread's over there behind me. These are just like, oh, well, one night we'll have tuna, tuna salad and I'll make chicken salad for me. Actually, I think tomorrow I'm going to make a big old batch of chicken salad with some of that chicken and boil some eggs. And I bought some croissants, croissants at Sam's. So we'll, those are so good with chicken salad. Marion loves the tuna. I've got some ketchup, peanut butter, trail mix, Jackson's favorite, and Marion's fig bars. I got this little movie box because we might be going to see Transformers, and Jackson loves that for the movies. Got some of these toasty crackers for snacking, and Marion's favorite homestyle rice krispie trees. I didn't buy a big one because, first of all, he doesn't need it. Second of all, we have some leftover still, so I just got that one. Some more juice packs for uh, Jackson. And then I got the lemon and strawberry. Luigi's Real Italian Ice Marion loves this stuff. It's so good. Um, but he loves this in the summer. I got some frozen corn and a couple of his tuna pouches. Sweet and spicy, honey barbecue, and herb and garlic for his lunches. And some bread, eggs. We are going to have breakfast for dinner one night. Got some milk, some uh, green leaf lettuce. This will be for like our croissant sandwiches. I'm going to make some fruit salad. So I've got strawberries. I have everything else for it. Got some tomatoes, some bananas, some green onions. These are for the chicken salad. And then just a head of lettuce for, they didn't have any shredded. So that'll be for the chili or the taco lime chicken bowls. Got a big bag of apples. And then some non-food things from Walmart. This is the Time and True brand. And I love these shorts. They're $20, so that's ridiculous, especially from Walmart. But I'm actually wearing a pair right now. I got them last year, and they're just like the khaki color. And they feel so good. They fit so good. They feel so good. I love the length of them. I just love them. And so I went this year, I saw that they brought them back. I really wanted a black pair, but they didn't have any black or they didn't have any black in my size. And then they had like a charcoal gray, but they didn't have those in my size. So it was either navy or white. So I ended up getting the white, but I love like the length of them. They're just so cute. And they have, I'll show you the waist. It buttons, but it's like on the side, it has this like elastic. And I think that's why I love them. So they stretch and I got to have comfortable I can be comfortable in my stomach area otherwise I won't wear them if they're too tight but they're just so cute and I love the pockets on the back also I just grabbed a really cheap iron I just needed it for my iron I got at Goodwill years ago and I can't see the label it's ripped off to tell you like what temperature you're setting it at and when I make my Cricut shirts and stuff I never know and so sometimes I have to redo them because the stuff's coming off because he didn't have it high enough so I was like, why don't I just buy an iron? This was like 10 something. It was so cheap. So hopefully that will help me with my Cricut projects. I needed some more of my vitamins, some more stain spray. That stuff is so good. Marion's um, body wash, she needed more of that. And then I just got some heat protectant spray for me. So that is my cat litter. You know, I get that at Sam's, such a good deal. Um, but then the rest is Walmart. I got a giant bag of Marion cereal and Frosted Flakes for Jackson. Water bottles, 
These are my zero sugar. <laughs> you, know, you know, it wouldn't be a grocery haul without Clyde sitting on the drinks. No, it wouldn't. Got some zero sugar um, A&W for me and then some vanilla Coke for Jackson. He loves that. And then Marion loves his bubbly. And then I was craving <laughs> cream soda. And these were the only cream sodas I could find. And they are so good. So this is just such, such a treat when I'm like really craving it. IBC cream soda is the best. I'll probably share with Marion because he loves them too. Then I got some kitty treats. And then these are just the cat and dog food. I have already a lot, but I just grabbed a few more. And then at Sam's, I did get the cat litter and I also got two movie tickets, the Regal movie tickets. We're probably going to see Transformers at some point or Jackson and I will just go to a couple movies. I don't know. We'll see. But I got some of the churro twists. We love these because they are so low in sugar. Well, that's why I like getting them. But Marion loves them. Jackson loves them. So got a couple bags of those. Also, they're under $4. I haven't tried this, but I've been wanting to. Fire roasted sweet corn, Mexican street corn popcorn. So I figure like in the evening when I want a snack, I can have some of this and like a zero sugar root beer. That sounds so good. Such a great afternoon, sna evening snack. I got some more of these big Texas cinnamon rolls for Jackson and Mary and they love them. And then a big old thing of their croissants for our chicken salad and tuna salad. And then also because those will be gone in like two days. Everybody likes to eat them. This is not from today. We got this bubbly when we were on vacation. It's the orange cream. Um, Michael told us it's so good. Marion got it and he hated it. So we're going to just give that to Michael. It got all messed up in the car. He also, Marion also picked this out for Paisley when we were on vacation. <laughs> it just says uh, Carolina Beach, North Carolina. Isn't that so cute? He picked it out. I thought that was really sweet. So we're going to give them those when we see them next week. So when we were on vacation, I also got this little Christmas ornament Thought I would show you. We went there um, to swim each day and we stayed at Carolina Beach but we went to Curry Beach which was right next to it and I got that we always have to get a Christmas ornament when we go places I thought that was adorable and then I had seen this in a store and I loved it I didn't know until we got home that Marion bought it for me because I was like oh my gosh that's so cute I need it and it's just one of the little garden flags but it's way cuter than the one I have little flip-flops perfect for summer so I'll have to put that up and then I went to Hobby Lobby today and I want to make a few shirts so I found the, or I got this like leopard print. It's a little, I think it's maybe a little iridescent. I don't know, but they didn't have very many printed vinyl and I'm sad. I need to look online, see if I can find some, but I got that. And then I just, their shirts, this shirt was on sale for $2.99, which is a good deal. And so I got a black one and then I love their comfort colors. This, all those shirts at the beach that we saw were all comfort colors and I love them because I know how they fit. And I love how they fit. And they're good, thick quality. So I got a yellow one and this, like, creamy off-white. I thought that'd be really pretty. So I have a few plans for those and my new iron. And then I told you I went to Bath & Body Works yesterday and got some of this stuff. And there's semi-annual sale. So if you have one nearby, go check it out before it's over. I got the Groovy Watermelon um, Body Wash and then also the Body Spray. This stuff smells like summer. I love it. So fruity. I love fruity flavors. Fruity, sweet. This one is Poppy. Another sweet, beautiful scent. Just got the body spray. And then I got the pink pineapple sunrise body wash. You can see I like the body wash and body spray. I don't really use the body cream there, but, and then the plumeria. That smells so good. So I'm set. Body washes. These were all $3.95 each. What a good deal. I got another one of these. It was not on sale, but I just needed a new one. And then this one, I, I didn't realize this one wasn't in the $4 or the $3.95 sale. So I did pay $7.95 for this one. But this is, this, I, it's like my favorite new flavor. It's Firecracker Pop. I have it, the body spray and it smells like a dark, rich, fruity, cherry, fruit punch flavor, scent, whatever. It is my new favorite and I didn't realize that they made them in the wallflower. So I got one of those. They also have candles. Smell that if you have one. Go smell that if you like fruity scents. You will love it. Then I got Flower Child and what else? They have these new like they're mixed together like two scents mixed. This is white tea and sage and pineapple mango. It smelled really good so and I had bought a few before so these you know like one room will smell like it so you can put them in different rooms in your house and spread them out and don't have to wait till one's gone but that was such a good deal um 
check out your Bath and Body Works if you have one because that sale is amazing. I need to go back and make sure I got everything that I wanted while they're so cheap. But that is it. I, it's 3.30 now. I'm going to go ahead and put everything away. We're going to head over to Elena's pretty, not pretty soon, in a couple hours. I got to figure out what the plan is for dinner. I got to text her. All right, Marion is sanding again, so you'll hear that. But I forgot to show you this. <laughs> got this at Hobby Lobby 2. It was 40% off of $2.49 and I have one in here right there and I love it and so I've been wanting to grab another one for this side and I'll use them at Christmas too maybe Valentine's I think they're so cute for in here so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that back there We are at Elena's apartment. This lighting. Um, Marion's gonna, well, Marion and Jackson and Elena are carrying in all of the, like shit, he had to bring his six foot ladder and tools and all kinds of stuff. But then we have to go, this is only 15 minute parking, so we have to go find a parking spot. She lives downtown and um, parking is tricky, but it's Saturday, so it should be okay. So then we'll go in. I think we're gonna like have dinner, get dinner. They, there's like a Domino's close by. I think we might do that. I don't know. sweet boy <laughs> Milton's not not a fan listen he is so sassy gonna hide in his little house we're gonna pick up some dinner we got Chinese and pizza and cinnamon rolls way too much food Elena and I are walking to pick it up Andrew and Jackson went to pick up the cinnamon rolls so Marion's got his tools everywhere he's 
hanging something in their bathroom. But we got, Marion and I got sweet uh, General Tso's chicken. Andrew got shrimp and steak, it looks like. Somebody got a salad. This is all the rice. Jackson wanted pizza and Elena got pizza. They're picking up cinnamon rolls too. We're gonna have way too much food. He is precious. I know I am. Look at the size of that. Wow. That is crazy. So this I thought I would show you. Elena ordered this from Rifle Paper Company. And actually the girl that the girl that designed this lives in our town, right? Well, she went to Liberty first. Oh, she went to Liberty, okay. But this is the wallpaper that um, Elena got. And she showed me a picture like of the whole wall done with like a gold mirror in the middle. It looks beautiful, but there's not enough. We, she's ordering a second roll now, so whenever she gets that roll in, then we'll come and hang this up on the one wall in her bedroom. Also, she has this gorgeous mirror that's just sitting here in the Leaning against the wall, too heavy to hang up, but that's so pretty and so heavy. And there's Milton. He's angry. He's an angry cat. Look at this bike she got for $100 on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> it's the cutest. It's like a beach bike. Man, that is so nice. It's even got the Oh, bell. the little bell on it. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. And the basket. Mm -hmm. So cute. I, like it. <laughs> I keep wanting to call him Clyde. Milton's yeah. little... It's a little a treat treat toy. He's got to knock it over to get the treats. <laughs> he was in a cranky mood until she pulled that out. <laughs> That's so cute. Milton, you are cute. Look at that tail. I've never seen a cat wag their tail like him. <laughs> oh, and it's empty now. Do you want more? <laughs> All right, it is Sunday now. We were at Elena's last night way too late. I think we didn't leave till after 11. Uh, Marion had to hang blackout curtains along their bedroom and it was cement walls and it ended up being a much bigger deal, much bigger project. Obviously we didn't get to do the uh, wallpaper, but hopefully, hopefully she'll get the rest of it in within like a week or something and then I'll go over there and put it up. And then, I don't know if I'll be vlogging that day, I can show you, it is, it, the picture she showed me was so pretty. It's going to be really pretty when it's all up. But anyway, we were there super late, but we are ready for church. And it's nice that we haven't been to church in a couple weeks because we were leaving for the beach last Sunday. And then Sunday before that, we were at King's Dominion. And the Sunday before that, I had family and I don't remember what was happening. It seems like it's been about a month. So we're going and our pastor is preaching on the, the whole summer. He's doing a whole series on Revelation, which is fascinating. So I'm excited. It is a hot day. It's supposed to be 87. So I'm wearing, I got this at, um, it's a Target dress, but I got it at uh, Goodwill actually a couple years ago and I love it. Anyway, it's super comfortable and I, I've, I've only worn it once. So I always save it for the really hot days. So <laughs> anyway, these dogs are wanting to go out for the 17th time this morning, but we have to go. Um, not really sure what the plans are today. So we don't have plans today, which is kind of nice. You have plans what to, to woodwork? Oh, we are going to also maybe go and figure up the, the next project, work on the next project, figure all the, <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do with that, so. It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. We're going to go outside. So we came home and ate uh, leftovers from last night and I'm so full. That was so much food. Each of those meals fed us for two meals and I didn't even eat, eat all of it. That was crazy. It was delicious. But um, Marin and I are going to, it's supposed to be 80, it says it's 85 degrees right now. It does not feel like it feels way cooler with this wind. It feels like perfect out here. I almost feel like I want to turn my air off and open the windows. But I know that Marin will get hot. He always gets hot. Um, He's unloading his tools from the car right now from when we went to Elena's. But we're gonna come out here. I know I mentioned in this video yesterday that our next project is a big summer project and it's actually, I've talked about it before, it is gonna be back here in the backyard. We have lots of plans. So today we are going to like figure out measure it, measurements and talk about details and then we're gonna like like, what's the word? Not budget. I guess just like price everything and then we'll go from there. So 
um, not really sure this might take all summer. <laughs> I hope it doesn't take all summer, but since we're doing it all ourselves, it could take all summer. And also, I don't know, just like supply, supplies, I don't know if they're gonna have everything we need, if we're gonna have to order stuff. No, but what I thought I would do is just set you up on a camera. We're just going, I mean, on a tripod and we're just gonna like uh, do some measuring and some figuring out. So we're gonna, my dream would be to have a privacy fence. I get a lot of questions about my fence and if our yard only goes where the fence line is and it does not. Our yard goes all the way to all the trees and then it goes kind of like, so that tree stump right there, that's in our yard. We had to pay to have that tree cut down because um, it was a danger to our neighbor's house. And so that big tree stump, we had that cut down a few years ago. It was a massive white oak, white oak. It was very sad, but yeah, that's in our yard. So our yard goes all the way back there, but we only fenced in the part we did because it goes up. You can see it kind of slopes up. And so when we did this fence, it was right before we got Belle and we had Oliver only and we were like, we can't have two dogs without a fence. We really wanted to, I just, we used to take him out on a leash and let him go to the bathroom. Yeah, so we just like threw this fence up. It cost us like 250, less than $250. And it was just, we'd never had a fence and it kept the dogs. That way we were able to get Belle and not have to take them both out on leashes. It's just so much better. So my dream would be to take that out and put a privacy fence, but obviously that's way, way, way expensive. Marion and I were talking today about we need to, the first thing we need to do is call Miss Utility so they could come and tell us where we could actually put a fence, you know, like posts, because you have to dig down. And, you know, we've talked about it. He's talked about building one himself. So, I don't know. I don't know. We've, we've thought of different options, but that would be so nice. Just, we have so much privacy back here. Like, you can't even see our neighbors in the summer because everything fills in which is really great, but the one, the part where I would want a privacy fence would be along the front because on both sides, because that's where like, you know, you see people. So like the, just the corner here, I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. Just am, yeah, just telling you future, future plans. But, but we are gonna make some changes up here. Hopefully, hopefully um, it'll work. And cause yeah. We really need to. And my my flower beds are looking beautiful, aren't they? So we figured out figured out the details. Marion's got to now figure out what are you saying you have to do? Uh, he has to figure out like the price of everything and you know. We also need to call Miss Utility and ask him a few questions or ask them to come out and have a few questions. But I'm gonna run to Goodwill for a little while. Um, the dogs are so funny. They were getting hot outside, weren't you? He's getting shaved on Wednesday. So you're gonna be a lot cooler when you get all that hair off of you. I know, y'all are indoor dogs, I know. Well, I decided to go to Goodwill, but I think everybody in my whole city decided to go also. It was crazy and I kinda of just wanted to get out of there. So I'm back home and I thought I would sit down. I think I'm gonna just put in a movie and it's Sunday afternoon and I never just like sit and do nothing, but I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna take a few hours before um, dinner. Before I have to start making dinner, I'm gonna make chicken salad, homemade chicken salad. I'll show you how I make it. Everybody makes it their own way. Super, super simple, but I'm going to use those croissants and that'll be delicious. But I'm going to watch a movie. I think I'm going to try this. Hers. Got it at Sam yesterday. It smells good. It's a good flavor. It's a good flavor, but the popcorn kind of is it very crunchy. All 
right, working on dinner. I've got chicken. I just boiled three chicken breasts and cut them up, shredded them up. This is two cans of tuna. I'm gonna do tuna and chicken. Um, I wanted to go ahead and make a lot so that I can like eat on this for a couple days. This might be gone tonight. I don't know if it's not, then we can use that for another day too. But I just put mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard, and the tuna I put sweet relish, not in the chicken. Then I have garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Garlic powder really makes your chicken salad so good. If I had grapes, I would put grapes in here too, but the grapes did not look good at Walmart, so I don't have any. But also cranberries or pecans, so good in chicken salad. I did boil, double or boil and chop two eggs. So I'm going to definitely put that in the tuna. I might put a little bit in my chicken salad. And then I cut up some green onions to put in both. Super easy and um, everyone makes it different. This is just how I make it. I'll, sometimes I'll put like minced garlic in it too. But you know you can put whatever you like in it. So today I'm just going to do this and it's going to be delicious.
because I put him up <laughs> when I vacuumed I put him in the uh, pantry sometimes it's just easier and I can get it done a lot quicker when y'all are attacking the vacuum so Patrick just stopped over with a friend of his I got to meet him that was nice nice little visit but I got everything cleaned up now and I'm gonna go ahead and say good night but thank you for hanging out with me this weekend um, I appreciate you so much being here and coming back all of you that come back and all of you that are just new here thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you uh want to stick around i know if some of you have been saying you don't know my upload schedule and you don't know when to be looking for a video and i apologize but right now i cannot be on any kind of set schedule it's just way too hectic and if i put myself on a set schedule then it just adds so much pressure to me and i can't really like be as present as I want to be for my family and um, since I've started babysitting Paisley you know life's just been it's just kind of like a new phase in life and I'm still trying to get at least two videos up a week but it's just going to be whenever I'm able to but I do make it a priority and I wanted to let you know if you don't know that YouTube does have a way of letting you know when people upload you can just next to the subscribe button there's a little bell and if you click that bell then it will it's supposed to notify you every time I upload sometimes it doesn't people tell me that all the time YouTube is a funny thing and sometimes it doesn't notify you but for the most part that's the best way to know exactly when I upload and also if I upload at a time that's inconvenient for you you can always click on the three dots by the video and put it in your watch later folder and then whenever you have time you know whatever time allows just go back and watch it I have like 49 videos <laughs> in my watch later folder and whenever I get a free uh, some free time I sit down and I just go through them and decide do I want to watch any of these and if I don't I just take them out but it's good to like have them there in case so they don't get like lost in all my you know uh, subscription feed and everything so if you didn't know that you could just click that notification bell and it will notify you every time I upload because it's all different days and all different times and that's just the season of life I'm in right now. If I'm ever able to get back onto a normal schedule, posting schedule, I'll make sure to let you know. But thank you for sticking with me through it. I know it's a little bit crazy, but I will always be here for at least one to two videos a week. Hopefully more, you know, when time allows. And I know you all understand and I appreciate you again so much. But make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It always helps to push my videos out, helps get it into the algorithm because YouTube is just a funny thing. So 
And Belle, of course, is eating while I'm in here vlogging. But anyway, I love you guys. I'm praying for you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.